Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Speaking of Huawei Mate 70, it is Huawei's latest flagship phone, with powerful performance and cool appearance. It attracted a lot of attention as soon as it was launched. But do you know? There are many stories behind it, especially the chip that makes countless people crazy. Huawei Mate 70 is equipped with Huawei's self-developed Kirin 9020 chip, which is the result of Huawei's years of hard work in the chip field. In the past, most of the mobile phone chips we used were foreign, such as Qualcomm and Samsung. But now, Huawei has finally had its own chips with its own efforts, and the performance is not bad. It has been nearly a week since the release of Huawei Mate 70 series. Many digital bloggers have played with the remote access of Mate 70, proving that Huawei AI mobile phones have really understood it. However, I had two major guesses before the release of Mate 70, one was confirmed and the other was slightly deviated. First, the Mate 70 series is equipped with dual systems, that is, Mate 70 is equipped with Harmony OS Next, native Hongmeng, and Harmony OS 4.3 systems for users to choose to switch. Of course, Huawei then released a Mate 70 Pro Pioneer Edition, which means it is equipped with the Harmony OS Next 5.0 operating system and is configured as a 12GB plus 512GB version Hongmeng Next Pioneer Edition which has officially appeared on Huawei More. The advent of this new model marks Huawei's new exploration in the field of operating systems. It also responds to what Yu Chengdong said at the press conference, next year, all new phones released by Huawei will be equipped with native Hongmeng systems. Second, the processor equipped with the Mate 70 series is different from the previously stated Kirin 9100. Although Yu Chengdong did not mention the chip at the press conference, he did not even mention the name. But from the first time after the press conference, I went to the offline store and used software to test the Mate 70 series of mobile phones, saying that the standard version of Mate 70 is equipped with the old Kirin 9010, and the Pro Pro Plus RS Porsche is the first to launch the new generation of Kirin 9020. Since the return of Kirin chips last year, from Kirin 9000S to Kirin 9010, every upgrade has been eye-catching. Therefore, everyone has high expectations for the chips that the Mate 70 series will adopt. Although it is not equipped with the expected Kirin 9100, the performance of the whole machine has increased by 40%. Recently, According to the revelation of a well-known digital blogger on the social platform, Huawei has achieved a breakthrough in key chip technologies, and Kirin chips will also enter regular iterations in the future, such as Kirin 9020 and 9030 and 9040. In other words, the upgrade and iteration of Kirin chips still maintains the rhythm of small steps and fast walking. For example, Kirin 9020 is the industry's first 5G ASOC of 3GPP R18. The energy efficiency of small cores of internal data is increased by an average of 50%, the energy efficiency of medium cores is increased by an average of 20%, and the energy efficiency of large cores at high frequencies is greatly improved. Compared with K9000S, CPU performance and energy efficiency, heavy loaded games, NPU computing power and energy efficiency have all been significantly improved. According to Intuitu running points, the Intuitu running points of Kirin 9020 reached an astonishing 1.25 million, while the running points of Kirin 9010 were only about 980,000. From the specific score point of view, Although the CPU improvement is not too large, the GPU improvement is extremely significant, from 200,000 to 280,000, 
an increase of 40%. Although the Kirin 9020 is still slightly inferior to Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in performance, the gap between the two is not large in terms of CPU, and the main gap lies in the GPU. Therefore, Although it is not equipped with the previously speculated Kirin 9100, there is a deviation, but the Kirin 9020 is also considered to confirm HiSilicon's continuous iteration capabilities on SoC. In addition, the pricing of the Mate 70 series this time also fulfilled the surprise mentioned before. Compared with the previous generation, the price of the Mate 70 series has not increased. In fact, the price of the Mate 70 Pro Plus is 500 yuan lower than that of the Mate 60 Pro Plus. This is a breath of fresh air in the current market environment where flagship phones are generally priced higher due to the price increases of Qualcomm SoC and MediaTek SoC. More importantly, from the pricing strategy, we can see that the production capacity problem of Kirin chips has been basically solved, otherwise, they would not dare to let go of the price. After all, everyone expects the sales of the Mate 70 series to explode. According to Tech Insights, the sales of the Mate 70 series are expected to be 3 million units, accounting for 22% of Huawei's total smartphone shipments in the fourth quarter of this year. In other words, it was released on November 26 and officially released on December 4. By the end of the year, the sales reached 3 million units in nearly a month, with an average daily sales of 100,000 units, which is still very scary. As for the sales of the Mate 70 series throughout its life cycle, compared with the Mate 60 series, its sales exceeded 14 million units by mid-November. Objectively speaking, the popularity and impact of the Mate 70 series cannot be compared with the Mate 60 series, so the industry generally predicts that the sales of Mate 70 will be roughly between 10 million and 12 million units, and it is difficult to surpass the Mate 60 series. Therefore, for the Mate 70 series, although the performance of Kirin 9020 is not the best, Due to the matching of Kirin 9020 and Hongmeng system, the perfect coupling of software and hardware, its performance has an experience that is not inferior to other flagship mobile phones. At the same time, the breakthrough of Kirin chip key technology has achieved regular iteration, which not only shows that Kirin chip is still a major advantage of Huawei mobile phones over its competitors. It also proves that domestic chips have made great progress in technology.